across. Well, keep those tushies shaking. That's it. Get those short tushies in motion. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep it up. Get those bodies moving. Now, jumping finger thrust. Say, like, I know you. I know you. You, you. It's you. I see you. I see you there. You, you. You guys are awesome. It's all about just playing, guys. You, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I want to see you. Hello, everybody. I'm Candace, and wow. this week is hey. all about the playing and getting ready for the last Just Play Finish Line Festival this Saturday, hosted by Ooh. Brent and yours truly from sunny California. Wow. <laughs> There's going to be tons of games, celebrities, including the cast of all that, Nick Cannon, Romeo Master P, and Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah. It all happens Saturday beginning at 5, 4 Central, including a Spongebob marathon, finishing with a brand new Spongebob episode at 7.30, 6.30 Central. You guys do not want to miss this. Britt, you are working hard. Oh, huh? Candace, do you feel the burn, baby? Because uh, I feel it. All right, all this week we're starting with the show with the Let's Just Play of the Day. Mm -hmm. You guys have been voting between the tricycle, skateboard, toe, skateboard, toe, hot lava pillow, jump, and tennis racket basketball. Yes. Uncle Plasma, show us the results. Okay, here we go. Get my afro out of the way. And it's tennis racket baseball. Hey, come on in, guys. Let's go play. Awesome. Okay, go. Let's go, go, just play tennis racket baseball. Woo Just play of the day. Log on to Nick.com and tell us how many minutes you've been playing and earn major Nick points. I have like 30 million at this point. Oh, I'm sure you do, Brent. Right now, it's time for the Let's Just Play Word of the Day. Let's Just Play Word of the Day. Nice. Now, today's word is conglomerate. And when this word is used during today's show, we all have to run outside and play twist and tag. I wonder who's going to be the first to say it. It's such a common word used on this show, you know? Oh, I know it is. It's crazy. There's more you pick on the way. All right, more you pick on the way. You're such a so good at it. said word. All year long, Nickelodeon's been playing across America. And now we're getting ready for the biggest celebration of play ever. Look out, it's coming your way. Seriously, look out. Be there for Nickelodeon's Let's Just Play Finish Line Festival. Saturday starting at 5, 4 Central, live on Nickelodeon. It's going to be a knockout. The new Lion King Special Edition Disney. Pick Boy here, and as we all get ready for the Let's Just Play Finish Line Festival this Saturday, I know there's one obvious question on everybody's mind. How does Pick Boy stay in such great shape? Well, it's a combination of things. First, there's confidence. Self-explanatory. Secondly is a little thing that I'm sure celebrities like Melissa Joan Hart and Romeo do, who coincidentally enough are showing up this Saturday at the festival. It's Pick Boy Lotties. Okay. Uh, Pick Boy. Yes. It's Pilates. Pilates. You can call it that too. Anyway, it's basically stretching and clearing your mind of all thoughts like this. I look good. I feel good. Not as flexible as I'd like to be, but I look good stretching. Oh, there it is. And thirdly, I like to do 16 three-second intervals of running in place with two seconds of rest in between like this. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two. So if you do these three things, you can stay in shape just like Pick Boy. While I continue this workout, you guys watch the SpongeBob. <laughs> One, two, three. 
Hey, that was SpongeBob, and you're watching You Pick Live. Candace, check out these skills now. That is really impressive. Can you teach me? Uh, Candace, it takes years to master, dude. Yeah, we'll see about that. Ooh. No Ooh. way, Jose. I didn't know you had big skills. <laughs> uh huh, I do, but uh, I bet you do know this. What? The Nick.com pick is next. Awesome. Ooh. Word. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> You're playing along at home with us. Yeah, man, because we're having a blast. It's all about playing nice. and having a good time. And if you're not playing tennis racket baseball, then use your awesome brain and you can make up your own game. Wow, oh. you guys are filled with words of wisdom today. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, right now it's time to take care of some major business. And that business being the Nick.com pick. Right. Why is it so major? Because it's picked by you guys and only you guys. And don't forget that without you, none of this would be possible. There you go, dude. All right, you guys have been voting all day between Fairly Odd Parents, Shark Zone, and Cat Dog. It's so crazy in here. Let's get up on the plasma and see which Nick Tune you guys pick. Brent. What? Here we go. And it's Shark Zone! Shark Zone's your winner. Oh, We're going to keep playing tennis racket baseball. I'm going to nail Antonio on this one. Here comes Shark Zone. Oh, gotcha. Brent. here and I'm excited to tell you about a huge Saturday Nickelodeon is planned for you. It's the Let's Just Play Finish Line Special. It is so big that I needed this menu behind me to guide us. All right. First, Kansas and I will be hosting the event from sunny California. Now we've been all across the country hanging out and playing with you. It's been a awesome times meeting all of you. It really has. Next, this event has more celebrities than I can take a stick at. From Jessica Alba, Frankie Muniz, the cast of all that, the brothers Garcia, Melissa Joan Hart, just to name a few. There's also going to be musical performances from Hilary Duff, Bow Wow, Nick Cannon, Clay Aiken to get you out of your seat and grooving. And now speaking of grooving, we got Wade Robeson, star choreographer, in the house showing you the Nick groove. Now, Throughout the event, we'll have wacky sport events for you from basketball challenges to the finish line relay race. It all starts right at the bottom right there at 5 p.m. 4 Central on Saturday. So join us as we play, dance, have a blast with all the big celebs. Let's just play style. More UK coming up on the way. I'm serious. I'm really serious. And it's time for the Let's Just Play Legends. Her name, Candace. Her sport, you name it. Candace revolutionized the game of basketball, football, yucca, hockey, free sack, funny car drag racing, and log rolling. During her log rolling career, her nickname was the Logger. Here is Candace in her first professional basketball game in 1972. Here is Candace in her first hockey game. Nice gap. Here is Candace in the desert. Why? I have no idea. And here is an Aardvark. I love Aardvarks. Here is a I picture I took. I wasn't such a big fan, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, little girl. Who are you? I'm Candace, the Let's Just Play legend you're talking about? Yeah, sure you are, doll. Sure you are. Run along. That's all the time we have for Let's Just Play Legends. Take care. And remember, becoming a legend doesn't happen overnight. It could take months. Oh, I really am. are here and I'm on the sidelines of Wednesday night heads ahead game. Coming up, we have a key match between two formidable opponents. That being Monday's head to head winner Rugrats or a four worthy opponent, if I do say so myself, SpongeBob. One moment breaking news. We have an injury update. There are no injuries to report. However, with 100% certainty, I can report that the head to head is up next. For you pick sports, I'm Brent Blazer. Brent Blazer here, and any minute now we have an exclusive interview with the coach of all coaches, Coach Candace. Here she comes now. 
Coach, how do you see today's matchup? Well, what we have is an old-fashioned grudge match between two quality Nicktoons. Now, today's weather conditions will have a major impact on the outcome of this contest. We're indoors. Good point. Next question. What is your strategy? Well, we have great fans, and I do have this dry race board. You see, what we're going to do is we're going to have some people over here. And then well, we're Coach Maxo so has strategy. Let's get to the head-to-head -head head between Rugrats and SpongeBob. And got the results right here. They're coming in with 9% Rugrats. And with a whopping 91%. SpongeBob SquarePants is your head-to-head -head winner today. Oh, go figure. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Hey, I'm Candace, and welcome to Candace's Corner. Now, during the head-to-head, -head, Brent and I were discussing the Let's Just Play Finish Line Festival, and we realized the impact it'll have on our conglomerates. Nickelodeon goes behind the scenes to meet All That's Christina Kirkman, the funniest kid in America. I'm so glad to be on All That. From the very first day, everybody has been so warm and welcoming. Nope, you ain't coming in. But I'm Christina Kirkman, the funniest kid in America. Yeah, well, I'm the funniest security guard in this here conversation. <laughs> you ain't coming in. Even though we have so much fun, it's a lot of hard work, too. <laughs> oh, hey, Christina, I think that goes over there. Great sketches. I mean, I really feel like the writers have included me in a lot of them. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't miss a brand new season of All That starting October 11th at 8, 7 Central on Nickelodeon. And now, 10 seconds of bread. When's the last time you played on a pogo stick? This has been 10 Seconds with Brent. Three, four, five, <laughs> 86, 87. Hey there. That was the head-to-head -head winner picked by you at Nick.com. Hey, Brent and I are exercising to get ready for the Let's Just Play Finish Line Festival. Ooh. This Saturday at 5, 4 Central, live from California. Oh, oh. I can finish my 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups with Brent still working on his. It's all about technique. Uh-huh, sure it is. Coming with a new element, the prize wall ball. Cool prize wall time! No, not until you finish your push-up. Oh, come on! Woo, my arms are burning from those push-ups, but I'm feeling good. Check it out, Candace. Oh, pretty nice, Brent. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can stop now. It's time for the prize wall. And the bucket of bucks, which is currently filled with a whopping $161.31. Now, as you may know, we've added a new element, the prize wall ball. Yeah, this is the Lucky Lounger shoots the prize wall ball over here into one of these hoops, nicely affixed to one of these doors. Now, the hoop it goes through is the door that they're picking. Now, if after three tries they don't have any luck, then pick the door of their choice. Sound good? That sounds good to me. Why sounds don't we get good. Pick Boy out here to pick a lounger? Oh, oh Pick, pick boy! boy! Pick Boy? Where is he? What's up, guys? Hey. Hey. You're it. You're it. You're it. You're it. You're it. You're it. Okay, okay, You're okay. It. Enough! Will you just pick a lounger, please? You're it. All right, who wants to go to the prize wall? Hi, 
Hi, what's your name? Jenna. Jenna, okay, you get three shots. Pick boy, give her her balls. Here you go. First hoop it goes to. Oh, oh it's eight. Eight. It, goes it was eight. It was eight. It was it door was number eight. All right, you ready? You've won an inventor motor mover set from Lego. Until tomorrow, that, that is. is true. <laughs> Hope you had an awesome time getting ready with us for the Let's Just Play Finish Line Festival on Saturday. I can't wait to see all the celebrities, the games, the musical performances, and the dancing. All that one night, that's huge, but that's not it. During the festival, the SpongeBob Marathon, yeah. with a premiere at 7.30, 6.30 Central, where SpongeBob breaks his butt. Mm hmm Fred and I are hosting it, so you better be sure to join us. You better, because you don't want to miss it. Until tomorrow, see ya! Bye.